Hi guys. So I've been sat at home all day watching the CCTV cameras on my phone, um, watching the storm go by. So it's been Storm Ennis. Um, yeah, surrendered a lot fine. She didn't really move too much. She's a bit choppy. Big waves coming past her. Um, obviously, I went down last night. I took the wind turbine down because um, it needed some heavy winds and I really didn't want the wind turbine to fall. Anyway, so... Um, We've had high water, sorry, really high water, but the wind kept the water in, so it, it, it stuck around and it brought it up a lot higher than it's supposed to be. So I've just come down to the boatyard now, so where I normally drive, down, there's a boat in the way. So I've got to park here, um, we may as well have a look around to see if there's any other devastation, because it's not looking good, is it? Let's go see. As you can tell, a lot of wind, it's gusting about 70 miles an hour, so I might get blown away. So this boat here was my surrender, which is over there. So let's go look at surrender. It's not nice at all. Somebody else's boat is on his roof. Good time to paint your bottom. I'm glad they took the wind turbine down. Let's have a good look around, shall we? Check it out in a bit, I think. This guy, guy called Bobby, he's a nice, a nice chap. There's our one of our forward anchors. Woo! This is wild, this. One of our chains, another. So we've got two, two separate lines and anchors go all the way down there. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's just on the bow. No, it's not as good fun this. Let's go look inside surrender, all the anchor points, all the, um, the structure that the, uh, that the lines get pulled through. God, can you hear the wind? So last night I come down just a bit paranoid, put some like extra braces in here and there. Because obviously right right above us here is my big cleats, so I just felt like she's going to get knocked around. Oh, what's good though? All of these these cables. It's a strong boat, you know. Really strong. So yeah, she looks fine internally, structurally, perfect. Basically, as long as I keep checking every time she goes through a storm, I think I'll be happy. Right, let's go and see if we can help some people in the boatyard to see if they help need to move some boats or something like that. So, let's 
skolovlok. It's not really the best time to do a boatyard tour, but I definitely should do one though. There's some quite interesting boats here, there's some quite old classics, some vintage boats, so at some point, yeah, I'll do, um, I'll do a, nice, a nice tour. So we're just trying to um, move a couple of boats, so it's getting a bit dark. Because obviously this is the road. Move the boat sideways. Was fun, um, surrender's fine. Quite a few other boats, as you noticed, were all I broke the moorings. Um, I think the red one was already a scrap boat, the keel had fell off it a long time ago, so it just keeps sort of floating around the place every high water. Anyway, so we've now pushed that over. Um, now we've retied them all off just in case it gets some more heavy water. So, yeah, well, all good. Thanks for watching. See you later.